Hey, Ronnie here from fourwheelingandwesternaustralia.com. Welcome to episode 12 of Modified, where we share with you four wheel drives that have been customised and accessorised for everyday use and four wheel driving. Righto, let's get straight into the vehicle. Okay, folks, I'll introduce you to the owner of this beautiful looking vehicle here. Anthony, how you going? Good, thanks, Ronnie. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Bloody hot, a lot of yeah, flies. Yeah, loving, loving the flies today. <laughs> All right, do you want to tell our audience um, what vehicle this is and what the running gear is? Yep, this is my 2600 series Land Cruiser. It's got a 1HD FTE motor, uh, it's automatic, twin ARB diff locks. Cool, um, so locked and loaded. Yep, all ready to go. So this is the 100 series, not the 105? That's correct, yep, yep. IFS suspension. Okay, so what is this set up for? Uh, touring? Yeah, or? mainly set up for touring, yeah, just to get out of Perth. Yeah. Far away as I can go. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'll set up for the long trips then. That's it. Awesome. Good stuff. Well, let's get straight into all the aspects of the vehicle. We'll cover the whole vehicle from front to back, um, from outside to inside as well. Let's get into it. Yep. Let's get into the bar work. Anthony, what do you got on the 100, mate? Um, running an ARB Deluxe winch bar on the front. What winch you got? Um, run bar 11 XP winch. 11 XP, um, oh, yep. so 11,000 11, pounds. 11,000 pounds. Yep, does the trick. Cool, a Dyneema rope. Yep, comes with Dyneema rope on it. Got, are they road safe yep. recovery points? Yep, road safe recovery points at the front underneath. Uh, the rock sliders. Um, these are on track fabrication, deluxe rock sliders and scrub bars. Very sturdy piece of gear, I've given them a bit of hell. And they're welded here? Yep, all welded up. So all one piece, just a uh, Oh yeah, so if you so unbolt all, them, the whole... Yep, the whole thing, so they're nice and thing nice and off. strong. Taking a bit, eh? Yeah, taking a bit, drop down on a few nice rocks. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it's for, eh? Yeah, they, they've definitely done the trick. Uh, the old ARB ones, the U-bolt mounts that they come with weren't very yeah. dirty enough, I found, so... Oh, yeah. so you had the ARB one? Had the ARB it. ones, yeah, and then I yeah, ended up putting the flares on and they didn't fit around the flares, so I ended up, yeah, just oh, going... Oh, so they had to change every regardless. Yep, going yeah. custom and... Start getting, yeah, getting something a bit stronger. So we're at the rear bar now. Who makes this rear bar? Uh, this is a MCC dual wheel carrier. Yeah, I've had it on the car virtually since I got it. Bang for buck compared to a lot of other stuff on the market. It's actually held up quite well. Just these pins snap every now and then from just mistreating them. But other than that, oh, yeah, what are those pins? What are those pins for? Oh, that's just to lock, just to lock oh, the when arms you open out. It up, yeah, so lock if it you in. don't manually do that after a while, yeah, they end up snapping okay. over time. Yeah. And you've only got one spare on? Yeah, you... only carry one spare just for, because I daily drive the car when I go on the big trips, I'll put I a see. second spare on just to yeah. save a little bit of weight and I can get into the tailgate with just opening one swing arm instead of two. Oh yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Get, yeah. The, get to the fridge a bit easier. Cool. Run your restyle hitch. Yep, your recovery, rear recovery point. The bottle opener up here, very important bit of kit. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Any rear cameras on this? Yep, got the reverse camera up the top there. Oh, up there, it's yeah. I thought I saw it before and I was looking for it then. Yeah, connected to the um, doubled in TV in, on the, in the dash. Roof rack? Yep, uh, it's the second roof rack I've actually had on the car. The first one I got was uh, a steel rack and it started rusting, leaving stains all over the car. So I've gone to an alley rack now, just obviously yeah, shed a bit of weight off the big girl as well. Yeah, that's a good idea to get rid of the weight of it. Who makes this one? This is a cut snake rack. Cut Cut snake. Yep. Is that a custom sort of? Uh, no, no, just a yeah mob over here that do them. And so you bolted your own. I use Rhino rack. Yeah, use tips. the Rhino rack um, shovel mounts. Just uh, oh yeah, I like the design of them. Max tracks on the back. Yeah, max tracks. Are, yeah, bit of recovery gear. I got the awning on the other side. Yeah. What um, awning is that? Uh, just the ARB awning. ARB awning. Yep. Two and a half meters. Two and a half by two and a half. Yep. Two and a half by two and a half. Righto, we're back at the front now. We're going to cover Anthony's lights. So let's start with the obvious ones. Yeah, got a pair of the ARB Intensity LED spotlights at the front. A 22 inch X-ray light bar mounted here. All the headlights have been converted to HID, um, LED park lights. Um, and then I've got the th three fake intensities up on the roof. The three fake didn't, ones. Didn't have a spare leg to sell. To, go buy three more so oh, yeah. <laughs> how do they rate compared to these ones they probably just don't, just don't throw out as much distance but the spreads all yeah. there so most yeah. of the time it yeah does the I reckon you get fantastic spread with those up there yeah yeah absolutely so when you go off road on 
you know, like on the tight tracks, what do you use light wise? They're all hooked up to one switch. All of them? Yep. Bang. So bang, yeah. just flood it out. Yep. Cool. Just get us the maximum amount of light so you can see everything. It's a bit like a sun rising view. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> the main reason the ones are on the roof is because, um, yeah, the last trip we went, um, I hired a van and went up to Exmouth with the missus and the bubs and a lot of people told her about all the cows on the highway and she didn't want to do any night driving and I did to make the most of the time so so you basically made a daylight it's a good excuse to get some <laughs> more lights <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's always good to find excuses like that yeah, that's it John, you got lights on the back yes i do and what do you got in the back uh just another same as this but just a 14 inch um, x-ray um, led reverse light that i've just got hooked up to a switch in the cab and um then another just two led x-ray um for camping spotlights yeah just for camping set up at night Hooked up to reverse? Nah, they're hooked up um, to a switch in the back. Okay, so yep. you can't switch them in a cab, you gotta go to the back. Yep. GME antenna, 6.6 .6 dB. How do you get range out of this? Um, yeah, do pretty good. Get about, max of I probably had about 6K, but we normally keep a pretty tight convoy. So maximum distance 6K? Yeah, it's about 6K, just like in line of sight. It was probably the best that I've yeah, done with it. And, then, and this pin here, does that? Uh, that's just for, to get it in the garage. Yeah, that's a cool idea, man. Yeah, because uh, that's the only thing that'll stop in getting it in the garage and some, yeah. some of the car parks, that's the highest point of the car. Tyres and lift. Anthony, we'll start with your tyres. I recognise those tyres. Yeah, they do look quite similar. Um, yeah, they're, they're running the Nitto Trail Grapplers, um, 29570 17s. Definitely <laughs> hook up really well on the road, um, off-road. Just, yeah, so quiet and, yeah, heaps of grip when you need them. Really happy with the tyres. How many k's you done? Uh, 20, just under 20,000 on these ones. 20,000? Yep. Going well, wearing well. How do you find the um, the noise? Because mine are just starting to get noisy and they've done 55. Yeah, the noise yeah, so far is still really well. Even, yeah, with towing a van, um, I found them to be a lot quieter than a lot of, most of the other muddies on the market. Definitely doesn't hum, hum too bad. Last thing you want on them long trips. <laughs> your rims, have you changed your offset? Yep, uh, there's zero offset wheels, front and rear. Brought them out a bit more because I put the flares on and went to steel wheels because the alloy ones were getting scraped and bashed up pretty well. Your lift? Running an old man emu two inch lift. Consists of, yeah, the old man emu torsion bars, rear springs, shocks, and then I've got the total chaos upper control arms at the front. 25 millimeter road safe diff drop kit. Um, just to bring them CV angles back down. Oh, yeah, so you brought it, so you lifted two inches, brought it down one inch. Yep, and um, yeah, adjustable rear pan hard rod. And how do you find your suspension? So the, I remember you were saying something about it. Yeah, the old man emus, I'm not really happy with how they've been going in the car. I've had them in there for about a year and a half, and yeah, the rear springs started to sag and the shocks don't really seem to take up much anymore, so it's going to be time for a, to switch them out soon. Probably get some bilsteins in there. The shocks and the springs or just the springs? Yeah, shocks and springs. Shocks and yep, springs. Just shocks and springs. Everything else is fine. Now we're going to look inside the bonnet or the hood. Whoa, <laughs> bit of stuff's happened here. Yeah, she's running out of room at a rapid rate. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is far from stock. So you got, which one is your second battery? Second is uh, that one over there. Okay, the one over yep, where so I am. The one HD FTEs come with the twin batteries already in them. Do they? Yep. I um, didn't even know that. So you just got to, yeah, get the isolator and off you go. So how do they run before you have the isolator? Are they parallel? Yeah. Yeah, that's not, not a very good setup. So you... Yeah, so basically if one's empty, they'll just level out. Yeah. You've got two fuel filters here. That's your factory. That's factory aftermarket. And that's your, is that fuel manager? Yep, fuel manager. Yep, yep. yep. So how many microns is in your second one? Ah, uh, that's a 30 micron one. Okay, and then this one here is just your file That's just the thing. factory. Yeah. Yep. That is a huge airbox. Yep, that's a custom airbox made by On Track Fabrication. I've just put a Perspex lid on it so I can... That's awesome. ...check the filter, make sure instead of undoing all the screws to get to check it, you can just yeah. have a look through the window and see what's going on, if it needs a clean or not. And you got a Safari snorkel? Yep, Safari snorkel. Um, yep, plumbed up to the custom airbox. Uni filter on there? Yeah, just put the uni filter on for when we're going... Um, off-road just to obviously keep that cleaner. And that is a four inch induction? Yeah, uh, that's four inch reduced to three um, to the turbo. Okay. And what do you got there? 
Aeroflow. This is all custom. I've got the Safari intercooler front, front mounted. Yep. yep. Um, when I got, I bought this second hand as a kit, and I think it ended. It was for a one HZ, so I ended up having to custom redo all the intercooler, intercooler piping. Um, so I've like just upgraded that to two and a half, um, yep. all the way through, and um, yeah, all the way back. And what have we got over here? Um, we've got the Taipan catch can, diff and gearbox breathers. And transfer case? Is yeah, it? and transfer yeah. case. So you got all these, well, we got air induction and all that. Obviously, you need something like a chip to make it all worthwhile. Yep. So I understand you got the you got the Q4? Yes, correct. Yep, got the front in the Q4. Um, yeah, with the five map select. Um, yeah, yeah made, made a massive difference and still more to come. Yeah, cool. So what kind of figures are you getting out of this now? Um, it's just over 200 horsepower at the moment and um, getting 580 newton meters. Um, 580? Yep. At the rear wheels? Yep. Well, watching this thing go up the sand dunes was a piece of cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very nice. Thank you. All right, let's move on to the back of the vehicle. Right, let's have a look in the, in the rear. Whoa, double fridge. Yeah, 40 litre angles in there. Normally just keep the fridge in for running when I'm in the city, but when we go when we go away, um, yeah. yeah, one freezer, one fridge. Just ah, yeah. To maximise space and everything. Um, this one's on the drop down fridge slide, and this one's just on the factory pull out slide. So that'll be a freezer then, I take it? Yes, that one there. is. Yep, so don't really need to see what's in there as much as you do in the. That's awesome. Yep, so nice and nice and easy to do. Get your gear out. Great for sure, people. Yep, that's it. Um, outback drawers um, from ARB. Just keep all my tools and stuff in this one and recovery gear and spare parts. Uh, I've got a 600 watt inverter um, in the side oh, in panel the side. here and just more storage on the other side over there. Yep. Um, and yeah, just got this knocked up because the carpet was starting to get a bit stained and dirty from yeah. all the tracks. So just something a bit more sturdy to clean on, and cook this, on. this flap here, oh, that's part of the... That's just the yeah, factory. Okay. Oh, makes the, the dead space handy. Yeah, absolutely. And this here? Um, and yeah, this rear solar shades. Um, they got them on all sides? Yeah, just for the cargoes and the rear screen. Um, they look like they're made for this one. They are, yeah. They'll... So just standing here, it's 37 degrees out here right now. Yep. But right here, it's I swear it's like 10 degrees nice. cooler. It is, yes. Might do the rest of the video, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you go camping, where do you chuck all your stuff? On the roof rack? Yeah, most of the stuff goes on the roof. I've only just got the baby seat on this side. I can normally take this um, pair of seats out here at the back. So just Oh, completely out? Yeah, just put storage tubs. So the interior of Anthony's 100 series is going to run us through all the bits and bobs he's got in here. And there's a fair bit. So what we're going to start with, um, I'm going to start with your 5 map select on your uni chip. Yep, so uh, got the 5 map select um, that goes to the Q4. Uh, so I've got 5 different tunes um, running from my base tune up to the top tune, um, which is yeah, 200 horsepower. So yeah, very handy to have uh, if you want that bit of extra power for towing or four wheel driving or if yeah. you want your fuel economy back you can just put it back to the lower you, settings. Have you got any other specific tunes for low range or anything? Nah, nah, not as yet. It's uh, in the process of um, when the turbo goes on, it's going to oh, yes, yeah, all be getting re a little retuned bit, yeah. again. Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, your switches, that's that for all your lights, rear and front? Yep, yep. So it's just fog lights, um, this yeah, single spotlight switch for all the front lights and the reverse light switch. Cool, looks pretty neat. It all looks pretty neat in here. Yeah, I try to keep them looking clean. So is that a battery monitor? Yeah, got the projector dual battery monitor there. Um, just to yeah, make sure the batteries are all going all right. And uh, there's your locker. Yep, the uh, front and rear locker switches are here. Um, we've got the turbo timer and compressor switch. Oh, on the other side? Over here. Um, boost, pyro and trans temp gauges. Just to, oh, so you get your trans temp as yep, well? Yeah, just to monitor everything, make sure. Oh yeah, because you're automatic. Everything's going all right, yep. Yeah. Roof console? Yep, uh, Outback Accessories roof console. Um, just the cruisers come with, um, they hold about five sun pairs of sunglasses, the original ones that they come with. And yeah, okay. 
you can't even fit a normal pair of sunglasses in them, so I had to do something about that. So just a bit of extra storage and LED yeah. lights, and yeah, got the UHF up there as well, nice and tucked away. GME? Yep, GME, uh, age to 80 channel. Okay, and, and your spare one? Yep, just a spare handheld for then, just for have to get out and guide anyone or anything like that. And what's this? Uh, that's just the trailer brake. Oh, the brake controller. Car. Yep, for yeah. when you're towing. Just, yeah, got a driver's Recaro. The other one's at home because my partner doesn't like sitting in them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>